Welcome to the Harmbin Heritage Museum. We've been in the Irondale Centre you know, for about 18 months and we've developed it to show the, the present generation what used to go on in this, er this area, the, the area of Harmbin, what used to be Accrington and District. We cover the old industries such as Eubank carpet sweepers who were at the best we're making 26,000 a week and exporting them all over the world and putting Accrington's name on the map. Nor I Brick, Howard and Bullers. Howard and Bullers were so successful in manufacturing of uh, cotton machinery and exporting it to India, Pakistan, all over the world, that they really caused the decline of the, the Lancashire cotton industry by being too good at what they did. We also cover the First World War in these two exhibits here. The one straight behind me is specifically uh, people from this district in the First World War, but the one at the bottom is specifically Accrington Pals. Everybody should be told the history of the Accrington Pals. A lot of people do know, but there's more people that don't know. But if you come along here, we can explain it to you. And if you have relatives who were in that conflict on the Somme, the first day of the Battle of the Somme, we have all the names listed. We can tell you roughly where they ended up. If they were killed in action, then which graveyard they can go and see them in, in France and Belgium. Welcome to the Second World War room. Now we know that the Second World War affected everybody throughout the country, but what we've tried to do here is bring out the local aspects. We've got Accrington's Home Guard Unit, uh, Howard and Buller's Rescue Squad, men of the Home Guard practicing bomb disposal, and, and, and local people. It's more what did you do in the war, Grandma, than Grandad. We all know what Grandad did, and these are just some of the lads, local lads, that served from this area and that's what we tried to do here. We've even got uh, an Anderson shelter so the kids love going in there and having a look and, and seeing what it could have been like during a, a bombing raid where you had to evacuate during the night and get down into your shelter in the garden. So it's all full of atmosphere and they're all things that are connected with local people and that's what we tried to do. But there's various things here that you need to come down and see to show the kids what it was like and to remind the parents of what they used to do when they were young. Uh, it's an absolute treasure trove of artefacts and information. Just come along and see us. 